Welcome to the Postal Peter B. I'm your host, Peter Biancabano, and this is your one-stop shop for sports picks, politics and government chatter, and even some neighborhood restaurant reviews. Instead of going to three different channels, you can come here every week for the Pulse on everything you need to know. And forget about the politics and sports segment this week, folks. We are at the Meadowlands State Fair with Daria De Lucia <laughs> of that Hoboken Eats. Daria, what's going on? I'm so excited to be here. Look at this. We have a beautiful day. We're at the State Fair. Absolutely. Can't get any better than days. this. 100%. And trust me, we might go on the skyline in a few <laughs> minutes. It depends how much Daria eats today. We'll see. <laughs> maybe we'll go on a roller coaster or something. Maybe, upside down. maybe, maybe. She's saying maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> so we're going to have an episode dedicated to Daria's dish, which she's been doing the last few weeks and she's, you've been doing a phenomenal job Thank on. Thank you. Um, but we want to throw her a curveball because what happens at State Fairs, Daria? We have many different unique and funky items, like we said on our Facebook page, correct? Yes, we did. I'm very excited. I'm seeing everything from bacon wrapped foods. We have pizza on sticks. We have a little bit of everything. I even saw a sign for alligators up there. So um, curiosity is peaked right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure your curiosity is peaked as well. So stay tuned. Daria is going to be going from stand to stand, trying some of the most unique fare, the unique food here, I should say, at the State Fair. All right, we're here at our first stop for today. We're at Spaghetti Eddie's. Look what I have here. This is the super stick pizza on a stick. So what that means, Colby Jack cheese, pepperoni, Colby Jack cheese, pepperoni, all deep fried and then topped with garlic butter. Look at this. We have some marinara dipping sauce. We just lost some napkins, so I'm probably going to make a mess. All right, I think the best way to just go in for this, just dig right in, right? Oh my God. Look at this, look at this cheese in here. Oh my God, the pepperoni. This is so good. Oh my gosh, it just melts right in your mouth. Hold on, one more bite. Mm. Did you get that cheese bowl? Did you see that? Oh my God, this is so good. Let's see if we can get another one. Ah, oh, a little bit. It is so crunchy on the outside, but then you bite in. We have to find out what's in this dough that they use because it is so, it has a unique flavor. I'm not sure what it is. And then once you get inside past the dough, the cheese just melts in your mouth and you have a little bit of that kick from the pepperoni. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love it. Here with my man, Eddie Porcelli at the Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza and Pasta Truck at the Meadowland State Fair, Eddie. I know Daria is still digging into this, but <laughs> you were there for the review. I mean, is this your most popular item that you have? So far, yes, sir. Um, it was developed in another fair, in the Minnesota State Fair. It was a contest, and they were asking people to develop new foods for the fair. So my father and I, which is our research kitchen, is his house. <laughs> we went through all these processes of trying something different, and I said, let's try pizza on a stick. It's something that's never been done, and I think it would be a great just twist on the traditional pizza because that's what we specialize in it's pizza and pasta so we worked on it we tried a different a few di a few different cheeses and the kobe jack cheese seemed to be the best flavor and the best hold in the, in the stick itself so we won the contest so the lady called us on the phone and said hey you guys won congratulations what do you call the product well in all that stress and, and hubbub of trying to figure out what to do we never named it so i said to my father what's the name and he goes she goes, you know, it's really super. And I said, super stick. That's super stick. And that's how, and, and came that's how it came about. Now, now, it's a super stick, I'll tell you that. I was going to say, and, and Daria, during the review, you said that there was some sort of ingredient in there that you weren't sure about. The dough. You have to we, tell me about this dough. We developed a dough. Um, it's kind of like a crepe batter, but it's not. It's, it's, it's something in there that gives a unique flavor. I won't disclose it because that's the specialty of it. But our problem with the, the dough was is that it wasn't holding up in the fryer because it was either too thin or it wasn't cooking enough because it was too thick. So we developed something that, that would give us that, that texture we were looking for. That's absolutely phenomenal. And now, Eddie, is I'm guessing this is probably not your first year here at the Meadowlands State Fair. You've been here for years and years and years. What makes you keep coming back for more? The people. Nice. The people. I love the, I'm from New York. I'm from upstate New York, Rhinebeck. Now I live in Florida, but I just love the atmosphere here. I love everything about the fair. 
I love the people that run the fair, and I love the people that come to the fair. That's absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure you're going to be at many different fairs uh, this year. Is there anywhere where people can follow you, where you're going to be next, and so on? We have a Facebook, and our route is on the Facebook. Um, after we leave here, the next fair is Delaware at the Harrington Raceway. Excellent. So the winter's kind of like a hiatus month. You're just preparing new foods for the following year? Or, or I fish. Or he fishes. I love that. <laughs> Dara, what do you think? Again. I need to go off here so I can finish this really quick. Oh, look at that. <laughs> She's going to go off and finish that. Eddie Borgelli from Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza and Pasta here at the Meadowlands State Fair. Come and see him. He's right by the skyline, and you're going to want to try the get super stick pizza on a stick. All right, guys. We're back at stop number two. We're at Little Richard's. And this right here is their amazing fried onion. Loaded amazing fried onion. How could I forget that? Look at all the toppings on here. We have, as you can see, a giant onion topped with cheese sauce, bacon bits, jalapeno, and then we have a horseradish Thousands Islands zesty dressing that we're going to dip it in and a side of ranch because who doesn't love all the toppings, right? All right, let's dive in. Get a nice big bite. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's hot. Definitely going to be a hot one. Wow. The crunch on this, I don't know if you could hear it in the microphone, I hope not, was so good. Whatever batter they must use on this is phenomenal. The cheese sauce, so delicious. And then it has that nice little salty taste with the bacon. Little kick from this. I, I, this, is, this has the kick right there. I didn't even get any jalapenos in that bite. Whatever this, they call it their house dressing very good nice kick nice addition to this entire meal i'm going in for another bite if it will add some ranch onto it mm. yeah i definitely need the ranch too so good here with clint yoder at the little richard stand where daria just tried this amazing onion and it's she's big too it's she's, heavy she's basically <laughs> saying that she's lifting weight still with this uh, this is my amazing workout onion. for the day <laughs> clint first of all little richards great name yes that's actually the name of my wife's grandfather he started the business over 65 years ago wow absolutely phenomenal and i'm sure this is not your first year here at the Meadowlands state no. fair correct no we've been here for almost 20 years now Almost 20 years, and while you were making this amazing onion, uh, Daria is still trying, folks. <laughs> um, you, you were talking about how you basically travel all state fairs. Is there anywhere where people can see where you're going to be next? We have a website. It's littlerichards.com. We do post on air the, our route throughout the year. Awesome, awesome. And what makes the Meadowlands State Fair, besides a Jersey accent, you know, because I have one and I'm sure Dara has one too. She tries to hide it, but she has it. What makes the uh, Jersey State Fair a little different than the other ones that you uh, go to? Well, we're here for 18 days where most fairs are 10 days or less. Um, and of course, we got the amazing giant stadium right behind us. So it's kind of a big landmark for people to come to. It really, really is. Daria, I mean. I have got to take some time to work through this one, but I'm definitely going to keep going. And she had a question actually about the batter, yes. correct? Okay. It was a nice Christmas to it. Like, what do you? What's that process look like? Do you guys make your own batter? Yes. And yeah, it's a homemade batter. It's just, uh, you know, it's top secret, of course, but it does have <laughs> Cajun, cayenne. Uh, the right amount of cornmeal okay. gives it that crisp. Yeah. Definitely had a kick in it too, so you can taste those those spices yes. in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great, folks. They're here until July seventh. Come see my man Clint at the. Little Richard stand, come try the amazing onions. They also have fried Twinkies. They have fried Snickers, they told me. They have it all. I mean, you're not going to want to miss it. Anything good, we have it. <laughs> Anything good, they have it. What I like tag that. Line. <laughs> exactly. Great tagline. We hey, guys. All right. Stop number three. I'm sure you recognize what's in my hand here. We stopped at the bake. It's called bacon, which we pretty self self explanatory on that one. But if you could see the thickness on this, this right here is just one of their, you know, basic dishes maple glazed bacon. Look at how thick. I'm gonna dive into this, but over here on my right hand, we have a bacon wrapped chicken. Very curious to try these things out. Let's see. The outside has a nice charred taste to it. Definitely, I'm curious how they make this. They must grill it maybe, I'm not sure. Inside, you get a little bit of fat, you get a little bit of, you still have a little bit crunch inside, and the, the maple glaze outside is a nice, sweet, little tangy flavor. Definitely very, very good. All right, let's see over here. This one has a little bit more of a kick. So the grilled chicken definitely has some seasoning on it. We got to talk to them about that. But it's grilled chicken and then wrapped with the same maple glazed bacon on the outside. Absolutely delicious. 
And you can even see on here, yeah, there's definitely, there's got to be some kick on there, maybe cayenne. I don't know. We're going to have to ask the owners, I think. For 30 years, New York Waterway has been a trusted friend of the city of Hoboken by enhancing the everyday commute for thousands of city residents and by always answering the call during emergencies big and small. Now that reliability and comfort the ferries offer is in jeopardy. The Union Dry Dock facility is vital to the ferry's existence. You don't have to choose between reliable transportation and parkland. Learn the truth. New York Waterway and Hoboken are better together. Visit nywaterway.com forward slash truth. Peter Biancomano here at the Meadowlands State Fair, of course, at MetLife Stadium. And we have a special guest with us today, and that's Mr. Steve Solomon. He's the Media Relations Manager for the State Fair Meadowlands. Steve, how are you today? Doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic, and we're here, obviously, before the fair opens, but you did say that in the days, uh, in the beginning of the fair, the crowds have been pretty good, correct? Absolutely, and thankfully with the weather that we had uh, Thursday into Friday, all that has blown away and it's been absolutely gorgeous. It's summertime and what more uh, a summer activity is there than going out to a fair. And that's 100% that's correct and it's absolutely beautiful out here, folks. They did a phenomenal job. You need to get out to the State Fair at the Meadowlands from now until July 7th, if I'm not mistaken. That is correct. That is correct, till July 7th. So, Steve, this is now your second year doing this, but it's the 33rd year here at the Meadowlands. Can you tell us about some of the new attractions here? And we all know that when you come to a fair, there's always some unique type of foods, correct? That is an understatement. And it's true. Well, the funny thing is, the food, in a way, have almost become just as big, if not bigger, than our attractions, not to take anything away. But for new shows this year, there's Jurassic Kingdom, which is a dinosaur animatronic and puppet show and i've seen it it's absolutely amazing um the dinosaurs are very lifelike uh at the end of the show there's an opportunity where kids can sort of dig for fossils which is really cool there's the paul bunyan lumberjack show and it, uh, flannel shirts are optional for the record it is summertime but <laughs> if you want to don a flannel that's totally fine as well and you see professional loggers doing axe throwing log rolling all sorts of uh cross sawing and things like that which is absolutely Absolutely incredible. There's a Steve Mentali, a new uh, magician. And uh, on top of that, we have perennial favorites like the Racing Pigs. Cycle Circus Live is back here by popular demand. And on top of that, the original Batcopter from the 1960s TV series is here. And on days where the weather is good, fairgoers can actually pay to have their picture taken in front of the back hopter and actually take a flight over the Meadowlands and this is the 80th year of the Dark Knight so for anyone who grew up watching Adam West or just loves Batman in general there's no better way to sort of have your inner Comic-Con experience than checking out the original back hopter. And one of the things that I remembered especially coming here since I was uh, an infant let's just say or a toddler <laughs> maybe is the fireworks on the 4th of July and obviously it's one of the I think one of the greatest fireworks shows around, correct? Absolutely, and we have fireworks both on July 3rd and 4th, Ooh. so there's two opportunities to check them out. And uh, they take place after uh, 1030, and you're absolutely correct. The fireworks are a spectacle unto themselves. And uh, back to your original point also just about the uh, fair, one of the cool things is that we have more free entertainment than ever before. Fireworks, obviously, uh, a part of that. But, yeah, the July 3rd and 4th, the fireworks are just brilliant. You absolutely do other different events throughout the year. I was just wondering if you could tell our audience about some of the other events. Well, if we're referring back to the State Fair group, uh, there are different events events that are going to be taking place at Yogi Berra Stadium as well as at Skyland Stadium. Uh, Cycle Circus Live is going to be performing both at Yogi Berra Stadium and Skyland Stadium. You can go to uh uh, jackals.com to check out information for uh, if you want to go to Yogi's and SkylandStadiums.com uh, to check out the performance up at Skyland if you live farther north in the Sussex County area. There are music events that are going to be happening as well. Billy Ray Cyrus is going to be performing at Skyland Stadium in August. And for anyone who is a fan of Queen back and if you live in the Essex, Passaic or Union County area and you want to go out to Yogi, Simply Queen is going to be performing. They're a Queen tribute band that is supposed to be phenomenal. So then there's all sorts of cool events in that respect. And then also, uh, we haven't announced all the details yet, but there will definitely be a food truck and craft beer festival at Yogi Berra Stadium towards the end of September. And I know Daria DeLucia is going to absolutely love the food truck and beer festival because we put it on food trucks. Now she's going to have beer to go with it. You're not going to want to miss that when that happens. Well, Steve Solomon, this is an absolutely phenomenal job you did here. We want to thank you for joining us. And folks, 
Get on now to MetLife Stadium. It's not far away from you. Like he said, date night, you want to impress some girl that you've been seeing or boy you've been seeing, you know. You want to get to the Meadowlands State Fair. And, of course, always open to families and everybody involved. Anything you would like to add, Steve, before we go? The only thing I would also add is whether you're eating heartily or healthily, bring your appetite because there is a humongous variety of food and also just the fact that uh, the fair is really affordable. It's $12 to get in. There's promotion nights. If you go to njfair.com, there's special bargain nights that are coming up that really give you an extra bang for the buck. Just come on down. Enjoy yourselves. That's it. Just enjoy yourselves, folks. State Fair now until July 7th, MetLife Stadium. Get here. All right, now we're back here for stop number four, and we actually just went right next door. The same owners own the bacon joint that we were just at, and we are now at Sarah's Burrito Bowl. We have some tacos. And what's really cool, I was just chatting with Sarah a little bit, and she'll tell us a little bit more after I dig into these, but you can get basically anything here. They do burritos, tacos, rice bowls, and salads. So, of course, I went with the traditional tacos, so let's go dive right into these that nice and loaded too which I love so good we have chicken on here we have some corn cheese salsa olives lettuce and some jalapeno too you can't beat that I mean what's really cool about Sarah's is that usually when you come to a state fair or any type of places you know food trucks things like that you basically have your your menu and that's what you choose from and whatever they make they make great but it's they have a set menu here, I got to pick everything along the way. I got to pick exactly what base I wanted to start with. Then we moved on to the meats, the toppings, the dip variations of sauces they have. You gotta love that though. I mean, the customer gets to choose exactly what they want. All right, one more bite, let's see. So good. And you can just tell by how this tastes. Everything is tastes very homemade and authentic. I feel like I'm sitting in a gourmet Mexican restaurant right now, enjoying some delicious tacos. So you definitely can't beat that. And I have to say this salsa that I'm eating right now, it really, the flavor shines through in, in this dish. It's got a nice little tangy, but, but, but sweet little kick. Very, 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 very good. So you heard Daria mention her name many times during this review, and we are here now with the famous Sarah. Sarah, how are you today? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? I am doing great. This is uh, Daria. I mean, go I ahead. I raved about it. It was oh, so good. All the flavors in it were just absolutely very spot on. Amazing. And <laughs> you picked all those flavors because you can build your own taco here. Exactly. Absolutely fantastic. And now, Sarah, obviously we were just at the bacon joint right next door, which is your stand as well, yes, from sir. what we understand. You had a, but bacon and Mexican, two totally different things. What was the brain trust behind these things? Um, I aim to please, and I know that everybody loves bacon, and who doesn't love tacos? She has a point. <laughs> Amen to Sarah. I mean, when you put the bacon on top of the tacos, even better, right? Absolutely. <laughs> she knows it. Now, Sarah, we've, we were told from the organizers of the event that you've been here many, many years. How many years have you uh, had your stands here? This is my fourth year. Fourth year, both. Second year for the Mexican and fourth year for the bacon. Wow, unbelievable. And they're nice enough to put them next to each other, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> like to keep them together, keep everybody here and eating. Absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now, I'm sure you're going to be at many different state fairs throughout the summer. Summer's busy for fairs. And is there anywhere where people can follow you on social media or website or something like that? Absolutely. If you go to Facebook at Eat Our Bacon, you can follow us for all our updates and everything that we do. Very cool. Very, very cool. Daria, are you still going to be digging in? I know. I have, I have three more to get through, and I can't wait. <laughs> there you go. She can't wait. Well, Sarah, she was absolutely phenomenal in making it and presenting it because you know why it was probably with love correct absolutely we like to make all our stuff with love our bit mexican um stuff is all made fresh here and so is the sauces for our bacon and chicken it's all homemade very very cool well come see sarah at the state fair they're here until july 7th and she has a mexican stand she has a bacon stand heck why don't you just mix it too you know <laughs> why not we'll be back New York Waterway values the rich history of Hoboken's working waterfront and the modern day importance of preserving green space. Plans for our Union Dry Dock facility will incorporate the best of both with a state-of-the-art ferry maintenance facility and expanded public use of the waterfront with a promenade, fishing pier, and kayak landing. You don't have to choose between reliable transportation and parkland. Learn the truth. New York Waterway and Hoboken are better together. Visit nywaterway.com truth. Folks, we're only on once a week, but you can go on our Facebook page in your search bar, type in the Pulse with Peter B. We're consistently 
updating new information on there. And then if you have a question for our sports insiders, for Josh, for our food insiders, we'll be more than even for me, we'll be more than happy to get back to you and answer those questions. Go on Facebook, like, and follow us. Here at the Postal Peter B, we like to interview many different people. Daria's on our <laughs> show. We have Matt Waymeyer, who's always given us great sports insights. We even have somebody like a little bit of Looney Tunes, like Josh Sotomayor Einstein. Yes, Josh, I said it. But today, we're joined by Al <laughs> Gator and we're going to try to ask them a few questions. It looks like they, they, their better days were behind them. But, <laughs> I mean, Dara, or, or Mr. Ali, how are you enjoying the state fair? Absolutely nothing. We thought that he was going to be a little <laughs> shy. Daria is going to try maybe some alligator. You're going to want to stay tuned. All right, guys. Next stop on our list is Chester's Gators and Taters. And this right here, we have loaded Mac Attack. This is just one of the dishes we're going to be trying from Chester's. And look at this. It's like the size of my head. It's huge. We have ribbon fries, homemade mac and cheese, jalapenos, bacon, cheese sauce, and ranch dressing on top. I mean, come on. This is insane. OK, I'm going to dive right in. Get a little bit of everything. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Wow, I don't even know where to begin. First thing I taste right off the bat is the ranch dressing on top mixed with the cheese sauce and then the richness of the mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese, he said. So I'm guessing that there's a few different cheeses in here. I'm excited to talk to him after I finish this to learn a little bit more about what's in this actual recipe, but this is just fantastic. And the bacon bits on top, oh man, let me get a little bit more of this. There's a lot of mac and cheese over here. Also. Who thinks to put mac and cheese and ribbon fries together? I mean, that's ingenious. I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. Get out of here. <laughs> Next on the list here, we have homemade mac and cheese topped with alligator. I've never had alligator in my life, and I will say this is an exclusive with the Pulse of Peter Bay. First time ever having alligator in my entire life. And not only is it alligator, Chester makes his own marinade that we can see on here. It looks delicious I don't even know I don't even know what to think I just got to give it a try <laughs> Wow that's different that I I don't even know the flavors are tanginess I think from from his marinade it's it's not I, it's fantastic I don't even know where to begin it's a different type of, of meat. it definitely has its own unique flavor but the marinade that he uses and then mixed with, again, the creaminess of this macaroni and cheese is something I think everybody needs to try at least once in their life. Here with my man Cameron Murray at Chester's Gators and Taters, folks. Chester, uh, Chester, excuse me, Cameron, what is going on today? Oh, not much. We're having a good old time, like always, out here at the <laughs> fair. You know, the sun's shining, weather's great, food is awesome, people are amazing. That's what we like to hear. Absolutely. It's exactly what we like to hear. Now, you said that you, the name uh, of your stand here was named after? Chester. So Chester was a Great Dane Lab. He actually passed about a month ago, so it's, it's pretty recent. But uh, he's been on the road with me ever since. Uh, I had him as a puppy, so that's where the name came from. And I have to tell you, the most popular question that I see from people walking by the stand here, and we got a crowd growing here, Greg, um, is are these alligators real? And we want to know the story behind these alligators right now. Yeah, they're definitely real. So uh, we, we probably sell more gator than anybody in the country as a traveling vendor to fairs and everything. It's, it's obviously our biggest seller being our name. But um, these gators right here come out of Florida. Uh, most of the gator I sell comes out of Florida, but we get this from our suppliers. And, and uh, what people don't realize is almost every single part of the gator is used in some way, shape, or form. So we happen to use the tail meat, uh, which is the best part of the meat uh, for Where's eating. That? So the, the tail, tail meat is a, oh, it's a, yeah, 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 it's a white tenderloin meat is what it is. Um, so it's the best best kind of meat you can use. Um, they use other kinds in stews and everything, but uh, these are these gators are absolutely real though. That is unbelievable. Daria is. Uh, giving them the name of double fisting a whole different meaning right now. <laughs> these Daria. These are fantastic portions here. I mean, look at this. I was holding this up to my head before. It's massive. <laughs> yeah, so this is a creation that we created about five years ago. It's a gator mac and cheese. Um, it's homemade gator. Oh, it's a homemade sauce on the gator. 
and it's a homemade mac and cheese with four cheeses and different spices and stuff. So it's really taken off. It's one of our biggest sellers. And then in your right hand there, we've got what's called a mac attack. I created that last year. So at the fair, it's all about fun. It's about large portions. It's about greasy fried food. So what's better than like a, a ribbon fry piled high with bacon, mac and cheese and jalapenos and, and just ranch dressing or blue cheese dressing and chives and everything you could possibly imagine. So. Dara, why don't you answer that? What's better? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And I like to say it feeds a family of eight. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't make her fool you. Uh, anyway, so now uh, this is obviously not your first year here at the Meadowlands State Fair in New Jersey. What makes you keep coming back for more? Is it our accents here in Jersey or what? <laughs> Probably so, or you guys might say it's my accent. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been in Jersey now for about eight years and uh, it's the start of my fair season, so it's the very first fair that I do all year long, and I'm really pumped up and excited. And by the time November rolls around and we're on our last fair, we're ready to get home. So, um, you know, it's a great time of year. And where's home for you? Home is North Carolina. Nice, North Carolina folks. So get over here, Chester's Taters and Gators. Come see my man Cameron for all these. Tell me, before we leave here, what are some of your other uh, items on your menu? So we've got shark kebabs. Mm. We've got, uh, of course, the ribbon fries, regular ribbon fries and mac attack. We've got corn dogs. We've got chicken kebabs, which has a homemade marinade sauce as well. So, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of grilled foods. We've also got fried foods. That's absolutely so. phenomenal. And now, um, can and, and can people follow you anywhere on social media? Do you have a website? And so on? Absolutely. So we've got a Facebook that we keep up, uh, Chester's Gators and Taters. So you can find us there. That's really, really awesome. I know Daria wants to dig right back in. First time, she said it's a Pulse of Peter B. exclusive yep. eating alligator Never meat. Never had and, it. And that's tail good. meats, you said, correct? It is. Yeah, it's wow. tail meat. Absolutely so. phenomenal. Folks, get down to the Meadowlands State Fair here to July 7th. Come see the fireworks on July 3rd and 4th, and then come see Cameron for a alligator. little... Alligator. <laughs> for some alligator. All right, guys. The time has unfortunately come to my last stop of the day. We stopped at Rolled Ice Cream, and here my absolute favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry, but this isn't just your average strawberry. We have the strawberry shortcake. So they started with um, milk, strawberries, and uh, wafers. Froze it on the, on the little freezer, rolled it on up, and here we go. Let's give it a bite. Something nice to end the day and refresh with. Mm. Perfect way to end the day. So Daria, unfortunately, we have come to the end of the fair today. Can you believe, folks, she, on the walk to her outro over here, she actually told me that she was still hungry. Is that true? <laughs> I always can keep eating. You know that. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible, but. It, it's incredible. So, I mean, this is really where people should come if they want to try these crazy and unique foods and bring a family, correct? The, the different types of foods, there, there's something for everyone here. And there's at each spot, there's something for everyone. So it's definitely for a date, for the whole family. Come by yourself. I'm about to come back tomorrow and have some more. Look at that. She's taking off from work. Okay, her full-time job, we won't tell the, uh, her manager there. And, and what's great is, you know, we have obviously covered the food there, but we're in the game section right now. I want to do the free-for-all so bad with, with the Daria, but you're not down for that, huh? I just ate so much food, and he wants me to go up on that. <laughs> All right, folks, we want to thank you for joining us this week on the Postal Peter B. Here at the Meadowlands State Fair. Going on now through July 7th, you're not going to want to miss it. Join us next week for The Pulse on everything you need to know. Bye-bye.